What it do, YouTube? It's thinking I'm back with another banger for you guys today. And as you guys can hear, my voice is getting better, bro. I'm not, I'm not that sick anymore, you feel me? And today, I'm bringing y'all another tips and tricks video. And this one is going to be how to get all of your perks to get accelerated. To get accelerated this year, you know, all your perks. As you see, I have eight out of the nine takeover perks. So I'm not BSing. I know how to get majority of the perks. The only reason I don't have all nine yet is I just need three more steals in park. Any affiliation, three more steals so I can get the sabotage perk. That way I can get accelerator. But I got every other perk in the game. So trust me, I'm a reliable source when it comes to how to get these badges. The best method to get these badges. Because even though like it may tell you how to get the badge, right? I mean, not badges, perks. Even though it may tell you how to get these perks, these takeover perks. They don't tell you the best way to do it. They don't give you these little tips and tricks to make it go by way faster. But as you can see, I have all of them done. Juice, like, I, I pretty much have all of them done. All right? So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to be helping you all out with how to get these takeover perks simply. And there's going to be a lot of important things that you're going to have to realize and do. All right? So, you're going to need Chris Brickley's gym. You're going to need the Art of Shooting gym. All right, now if we go on over to Chris Brickley's gym, it's going to be right over here on the map, as you can see, and I'll meet you all there. And I'm, 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 I'm going to discuss some things with you about Chris Brickley's gym. As you can see, we pull up to Chris Brickley's gym. Now, I can't go in. But however, the reason why I can't go in is I already did my Chris Brickley drills today. For some reason, after they dropped the patch this morning, I got on, and I was able to do Chris Brickley's gym. I wasn't able to do... And to enter this gym and do the drills for like a few days now. Like I think I've only done it once and ever since then I wasn't able to. Because there's glitch been, there's this glitch been going around. So I don't know if they patched it or if it just kind of like fixed itself. But if they didn't patch it and you find yourself not being able to enter this gym. Which is going to be, which should be, ent which should be available daily. Um, from Monday through Thursday I'm pretty sure. If you don't find yourself being able to enter it. Which you're, you're going to have to because you do need it. Then you're going to have to make a new player and you're going to have to play a game of my career. Just go 0 for 5 or something. Just shoot 5 shots and foul out and then it should be open. And another one you're going to need is the Art of Shooting Gym. You're going to have to play like at least, I don't know how many games. Like 5 or 10 my career games is, is enough to unlock it really. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like You just got to play some my career games to get this quest and once you get this quest i think you can enter the art of shooting gym now this one is a weekly gym all right so you can only go once a week and i'm pretty sure it's also monday through thursday because i played it friday and i haven't been able to go in there since well you can go in there but you can't do drills in there you feel me so make sure that um you complete a drill. I'm pretty sure once you complete a drill, it's done for the week. Like, let's say you go one day and you fail the drill. I think the next day, if it's Monday through Thursday, or no, Monday through Friday, I think you can, I think you can do the drill still. And the art of gym, the art of shooting gym is going to be over here. But first, before we head over there, I'm going to show y'all that quest share through your, through your players, all right? So as you can see, I made a new, brand new 60 overall character. And I'm going to show you real quick that the quests share between your players. The reason why this is important is because, like I said, if you have that glitch where you can't get in Chris Brickley's gym or even the Art of Shooting gym, you're going to, you know what I'm saying, you're going to need to um, do this glitch and make a new player. But as you can see, like, all my quests were pretty much completed. I already have Overdrive quests on S tier and all that stuff. All right, so it, it, it's really that simple. Now let's head on over to the Art of Shooting Gym, and I'm going to explain my concerns with this and what problems may occur and why you might not be able to get all perks. Yeah, I'm serious. This 2K, you might not be able to get all the perks, bro. Like, and I, like you're going to see why. Now, I can't do the drill, but I'm going to demonstrate it to you guys, all right? Now, you can always enter this gym. But you can't, you can't always do the drill, all right? So I, I'm not able to do the drill. I don't know if it's glitched, but I'm pretty sure you can only do it weekly since it says weekly. But pretty much what is going to happen when you do the drill is you're going to get your hot zones. You get to select two zones you want to improve. However, you can only select a midi or a three-pointer zone, all right? You cannot select these close. You see, like, you, see, like you, you cannot select those close ones. You can select these midi ones. But these close ones up here, you cannot select them. So if you have an inside big, I don't think you can complete the drill, bro. 
I, I, I don't think you can. And you need that. You need that if you want to get accelerator and mama mentality. So did 2K kind of like mess up people's bills then? Because they did release a patch today where they said they may have fixed the minimizer perk, which is what you need this for. If you look at that first bullet point under my current quest, it says adjusted the minimizer quest so it's easier for all player types to complete. So that must mean they patched it in today's patch. But then again, I'm not too sure. Hopefully they did patch it. Because if you can't if you can't choose those close ones and you have to shoot threes and middies, you're gonna have some trouble, bro. If you're like an inside big or something. Now, for most of these badges, the best place to come is Sunset Park, all right? And you're going to want to play this guy Disco because he's the easiest to get badges on and easiest to get perks on. Now, one of the perks, one of the requirements is you get, you recruit three, like, street ball bosses. So, you just, I think you just pretty much need to beat three. However, you don't have to do that. So, so without further ado, let's get into the perks themselves. Now, one of the things you're going to be able to do pretty early on is get this Mem Mamba Mentality badge. And all you need to do is complete the accelerator Minimizer, and Second Chance and so let's let's start with those badges. So as you can see for D-Accelerator, complete 3v3 scrimmages, complete 5v5 scrimmages, and Chris Brickley. And then for Minimizer, complete three stars in the Art of Shooting Gym. And then a second chance, you need a lot of points and stuff in Chris Brickley's gym. So I already explained that stuff earlier in the video. So let's get on to the stuff that you can actually get into these street ball games, which is probably the easiest place to like get most of these badge perks. Some of them. Some of them, you're going to have to play park. So, for all you non-park players out there, you might have to play park if you want to get this as easy as possible. You don't have to, but you might want to. So, let's go over the extender perk. You need 75 assists in either street ball or a park game. You know what I'm saying? Like affiliation. It's easier to get in a street ball, and here's the method. Now, for the next one, I would recommend getting two good teammates, like two good AI teammates. You can get them by beating Mr. Maybe and Taxman. They're really easy to beat, and they can get on your team. Pretty much all you're doing is setting pick and rolls. That's it. You call for a screen, you pick and roll, you dot you dot the teammate. That's all you got to do. All you micro heads know what I'm talking about because that's how you get 99 really fast. Like, look, even though he's going to miss the shot, he's going to get it right back. I'm just going to call another screen. I recommend doing it from the wing, not the top of the key. And I'm just going to dot him on the roll, and he's going to green it. Boom. Now on to the next badge. The next badge is going to be called Suppressor. Basically, to get Suppressor, you need 50 shots well defended or 50 shots well defended. Now, keep in mind, some of these are just only need two. What I mean by that is for a lot of these perks, you don't need to do all the objectives, at least just two. Sometimes you will have to do all, but sometimes it's just two or even one. All right. And, and shots well defended, I think, is the easiest to do. You could go try to do the fast break one, but it's a lot harder than just, you know, playing good defense regularly. Even if you have no defense, you should be able to guard this guy as only 5'7". You know what I'm saying? Like, look, make sure good shot contest pops up. Look, good shot contest pops up, and that's typically how you're going to get shots well defended. You need that in park, and you need that for affiliation, unless you want to do fast breaks, which I don't feel like doing, and I know a lot of y'all don't. Now, for stay warm, you just need, like, 6 field goal attempts, 80 field, field goal percentage, 10 times. So that basically means 10 games, you need to shoot at least 6 field goals attempts, and shoot 80%. The easiest way to do this in street ball, honestly, is just back the motherfucker down, bro. Like, he is 5'7". All right, most builds in this game are going to be taller than this dude. Now, if you're a guard with no type of inside whatsoever, just shoot over him. You can just shoot over him. I'm just demonstrating a really easy way just to score on him. He's, he, he can't guard you. All right, like, look. Like, it's, it's really simple. I'm going to show you, like, look. I have, no, I have no post control, no close shot. Nothing. It's really easy, plain and simple, on how to get that badge. Now, the next badge I'm going to introduce to y'all might take y'all the longest, bro. Depending on if you guys play Park or not, it can take a while. And this is Sabotage, bro. Even though I haven't completed it yet, you need 40 blocks, 40 steals in a street ball court, or 40 blocks and 40 steals in an affiliation. Now, in my opinion, it's easier to get blocks on the street ball court, but it's easier to get steals in Park. That's just my opinion, and that's just my build. And this is where, like, some issues come in. Like, if you made a build with no defense, like a guard that's just primarily made for scoring, how are you going to get this? Like, it's going to be really hard. It's going to take forever for you to get this. So I think this might be another perk, kind of like Minimizer, where they might have to tweak a little bit. You feel me? Because just like Minimizer, like, inside bigs won't be able to get that perk. So a build with no defense, is it going to be able to get this perk? Like, it's going to take forever, bro. But... What I would recommend, like, if you're a guard with good steel, 
even if you have good steel, because I have a good steel too, actually. I have a 91 steel, silver glove, gold rice gripper, and it's so hard to get steels in street ball, especially against disco. So I would recommend getting steels in park, but if you have block, I would also get block in the street ball court. I want to get in in park. Now, if you're like a pure perimeter lockdown who doesn't really get blocks, you could still try the street ball thing because keep in mind, like, he's 5'7", five, he's five, bro. I would still to recommend trying that. It's going to be way easier to get blocks in park and steals in street ball. But as for sabotage, that's pretty much it. Basically, the rule of thumb is try to get steals in park and try to get blocks on the street ball court. Like, as you can see, like, look, I'm just going to get a block every time. But I got an 87 block, like 80 interior. Y'all might not have that. But one of my friends, Just Plays Plays, the guard that I run with, he only has like a 60-something like interior and 60 something block and he he got all his blocks in the street ball court because it's way easier to do that and it's easier than do getting steals you know what i'm saying like it's harder to get steals in the street ball court than it is blocks even if you barely have any block now if you're one of those builds that literally only have steel and perimeter upgraded you're just gonna have to try and get steals in both like park and the street ball court but as for those badges i mean i keep saying badges as for those perks that's that's all we have now the next perk Next two perks actually are actually just pretty simple. You just got to win games. And one of them is Sponge, all right? You just basically need to win 25 games. It says I didn't do it, but I did. It's weird. The recruit bosses, I think you just have to beat them. But I would just go for the win 25 games. And Juice, you just got to win 20 games in either Park or Street Ball. I got it in Street Ball because my Juice partner wasn't on. But if you're a Park player, you can just go run up and streak up. You feel me? Now, as for the badges, I mean, God, God damn it, bro. I keep saying freaking badges, bro. In terms of the takeover perks, those are that, that's 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 all you need to know in terms of how to get all each takeover perk. That's like the best I can give you in terms of information, tactics, tips and tricks to to get you accelerator facts faster. And if you guys haven't made a build yet and you guys are watching this, now you might have an idea like, damn, like if I make an inside, I won't be able to complete the minimizer perk. And damn, if I make a build with no defense, will I be able to get the sabotage perk? All that type of stuff you need to consider. Like, I wish 2K kind of told us that shit before they, you know what I'm saying, before they made us make our builds, you feel me? Because now I feel bad for all those, like, guards that play rec or comp threes and have all their offense upgraded but no defense. How the hell are they going to get sabotage? You know what I'm saying? Or saboteur or whatever the hell it's called. But anyways, if you guys liked the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Turn on post notifications if you haven't already. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.